now coming back to the question of minorities you will please find why this particular resolution has been so widely put in that it might include a religious minority as well a linguistic minority as well or an economic minority as some honorable members rightly pointed out para now sir a question arises whether there ought to be any such protection in so far as a particular type of minority is concerned i shall deal with the question of minorities at some length but you will please find sir what the honorable mover wants is that there ought to be a permanent minorities commission it ought to be endowed with statutory powers therefore sir an attempt is being made for the first time by my honorable friend for driving a wedge between a community and a community para so far as the constitution is concerned as my honorable friend rightly pointed out whenever the question of minorities arises we have to be extremely careful the constitution is a very sacred document which has embodied all the different aspects of the common question of india's nationality india is one in a spite of different types of languages and religious but in the midst of all these diversities we have to develop a common nationality therefore whenever we consider the question of the development of the nation and the interest of the nation you cannot afford to think in terms of either of religion or of language para it is true sir that there are different religions it is also true that there are different languages therefore a question arose and the farmers of the constitution had to devise a constitution in the midst of the unity of india with certain diversities here and there for that purpose what they did was they devised a common nationality for the whole of india and in so far as religious minorities were concerned they were given certain rights i would not go into the details regarding the provisions of the fundamental rights regarding the practice of religion certain rights have been given to the religious minorities and beyond that it would not be proper to bring in the religious minorities for political rights for that we have to be extremely careful i would also point out that while we have to develop a common nationality the members of the indian nation have to understand that we are one nation para therefore certain rights in respect of 
religious minorities were given they were fundamental rights and most of them are justiciable rights here we stopped so far as the religious rights were concerned then a question arose what ought to be the attitude of not only the government but the society regarding the languages it was true that there were certain interests of the regional languages now these languages required to be developed but they were not meant for dividing one man from the other so in 1956 when the states were formed to a certain extent on the basis of language what was done was not to have a state with cent percent people belonging to the regional language because there were bound to be people belonging to different languages that was the reason why this question was considered at great length and the states reorganization commission also went into this question of linguistic minorities it was bound to arise here and there because they were likely to feel that their rights and safeguards given to them might or might not be properly implemented so this question was considered first by the states reorganization commission and they dealt with the question whether we should have a permanent minorities commission they went into it very carefully and shrewdly they found out that it would not be proper to set up a permanent minorities commission because the result if not the actual effect would be that a permanent wedge would be driven between one community and another community so far as language minorities were concerned they had a right so far as their own languages were concerned they had also an obligation to understand the language of the majority in the particular state it is only by thus coming together that the members of the two language groups would come together and would harmoniously develop but it was found at the time when the states reorganization commission had to consider this that some machinery should be devised for safeguarding the rights of linguistic minorities only and after full consideration what was conceded was that only in respect of linguistic minorities certain rights should be extended and certain rights should be safeguarded and an officer should be appointed by the president for making a report on the question whether these rights of the linguistic minorities are of are not properly safeguarded